The global market for protein powder is $18.9 billion per year, with half of those sales being from the US alone. America's got gains, y'all. Not long ago, protein powder was mostly used by athletes. But now it seems like everyone and their mom is absolutely hucking back the stuff. Is this how you do it? So today we are gonna to explain exactly what happens to your brain and body if you were to replace every single one of your meals with whey protein powder, and how long would it take to kill ya? The first thing you'd notice is the farts, because of how protein powder affects your gut. When we eat protein, the molecules begin to be digested in the stomach where the acid unfolds the protein for the enzyme pepsin to cut the protein up into smaller pieces. These pieces of protein then enter the small intestine where enzymes break them down even further into amino acids which are absorbed into your body and taken to the liver. But unlike carbohydrates and fats, these proteins in the small intestines have slower gastric emptying time, which means it takes longer for them to go through the digestive system, has more time to interact with the bacteria feeding off of them, which increases the amount of hydrogen sulfide produced in your gut. It's the sulfide and the hydrogen sulfides that make your fart smell rotten. Hi. One study found that high protein diets can cause up to seven times more hydrogen sulfide release from your dang butthole. But protein doesn't just make you smell like a human restroom, it's actually also very important to your body. There are 20 amino acids that make up proteins in your body, nine of which are essential, and you need to consume them, that is eat them, in order to survive. So the protein powder will be covering you for those and helping with wound healing and some immune functions. And of course, building the muscle, but uh, within a few weeks, you will start to see some major issues with other parts of your body as you will become deficient in the nutrients that affect your bones, your liver, your kidneys, and your heart. Ever heard of that? Kind of important. If you only consumed protein powder, you would not get enough calcium in your diet. So your body would begin to take the calcium from your bones to compensate for the lack of calcium you are consuming from normal meals. Eventually, this would lead to the diagnosis of osteoporosis, which is significantly lower bone density with an increased risk of fractures. That's not good if you're trying to lift weights in the gym. Low calcium would also affect your skin, with it becoming scaly, your nails would become more brittle, and your hair would become more coarse. Essentially, you'll end up looking like carrot top with busted nails. And eventually, the lack of calcium will begin to affect your brain and cause confusion, memory loss, and hallucinations. So at this point, you look messed up and maybe you're starting to talk to your free weights as if they're your friends. But thankfully, an 18-month study showed individuals who consume 45 grams of whey protein on top of their moderate protein intake from a normal diet had no changes to their bone density. Again, this study was for people who were taking whey protein on top of their normal diet, therefore getting the correct amount of calcium from that. If you were replacing all of your meals with whey protein, you would look like a sick demon with maybe a couple of nice pecs. Replacing your meals with just whey protein powder would start to affect one of my favorite organs, which is the adorable little kidneys. These little babies help filter your blood. When there is increased protein in your blood, it means your blood is more concentrated and puts more strain on your kidneys. Since fluid likes moving to areas of high concentration through osmosis Jones, high protein in your diet can add fluid volume in your blood vessels. This causes the vessels to dilate and increases your blood pressure. The vessels that filter blood in the kidneys may eventually become damaged due to the constant high pressure, leading to protein leaking into your urine. Studies have found that high protein diets cause an increased filtration rate on the kidneys, but we don't exactly know the impact over long periods of time. These protein powders and high protein diets are actually very new, and so there needs to be more research on that. In a study of 9,226 South Koreans, the individuals with the highest daily protein intake had a 3.5 fold higher filtration in their kidneys, so over time, kidney failure could be imminent. Protein shakes have also been shown to be harmful to the detoxifier of your body, the liver. In a report reviewing the top 134 selling protein powders, 70% had traces of lead, 1.5 times the accepted amount, 74% had cadmium, 4.7 times the average amount, and 55% had BPA. Any of these protein powders could be affecting the liver, and especially if all you're eating is a dang protein powder. In one case, a patient had multiple whey protein and creatine supplements for 60 to 90 days, and they presented to the hospital with yellowing of their eyes and skin because the protein powder induced liver toxicity. You only eat protein powder, you could become yellow. A study from last year found that yes, due to the lack of regulation of protein powders, many of them have arsenic, 
lead, mercury. But these studies did find that based on two protein powder shakes per day, you would not be exceeding any limit to see physiological damage. But we are gonna be needing more than two protein powders a day to replace all of our meals. And at this point, you might see neurotoxicity from lead poisoning. Lead poisoning happens because lead physiologically competes with calcium in the body. Calcium is essential to proper neurological functions in order for your neurons to literally fire. So your central nervous system would be under attack from the lead as well, lead causes negative effects on your ability to reproduce and on your kidneys. Remember those poor little babies? Now they're getting double hit. Not to mention that you are no longer chewing. And new studies have found that chewing, the physiological act of it, is very important for your body to be signaled to be satiated. Slow eating and chewing can control appetite. So since you're not doing that, you're gonna be more hungry, you're gonna need even more protein shakes, and then you're gonna smell even more like a disgusting bag of garbage. In 1976, a book called The Last Chance Diet talked about the liquid protein diet as a weight loss solution and caused over 100,000 people to go on this liquid protein diet for at least a month. This resulted in 60 deaths, with 17 of those deaths being in completely healthy people. Most of the healthy people died due to a decreased blood flow throughout their body, known as a ventricular arrhythmia, which was due to abnormal heartbeats. They think this was actually because of the dramatic weight loss that came from switching to this liquid protein diet, as well as a magnesium deficiency that they realized was happening in these people who were only having these protein shakes. So this is an example of how after one month of liquid protein diet, you could die. So it's fair to say that having protein shakes as your only meals is not a good idea. But I get it. I guess we're in the age of the jacked bro, the in the age of the juice head, in the age of the And if you want to gain muscle, they recommend 1.2 to 1.2 seven grams of protein per kilogram that you weigh. That's a lot of protein. You probably are gonna smell like farts. On average, you want about 0 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. And again, there's very easy ways to get this just by eating protein heavy diets. Of course, adding whey protein shakes here and there isn't gonna kill you. Just having them though, that might. But with all aspects of nutrition and nature and science, it is better to be getting your calories from whole foods. Now, if you love learning like I do, you must click the link in the description below because the first 1,000 people to do so will get a free one month trial of Skillshare. I must thank Skillshare for changing my life and also for sponsoring this video. Skillshare helped me become a birder with their casual birder course. And now I have been so much happier in the pandemic staring at these gorgeous dinosaurs. It's helped me with my stand up comedy comedy, which I was doing before the pandemic. I was using Skillshare to learn about how to make my sets better. And right now I'm using their professional character animation course to hopefully improve my animations for these videos, because as you can see from watching them, they're just okay. I cannot recommend Skillshare enough. It can make 2022 a year of growth and learning and connection through creativity. It's ad free, which I love. So you can stay in the zone in your classes when you're trying to learn. They update every single week with new premium classes. So there's all these new topics that you can discover and learn from weekly. And their entire catalog is available, subtitled in German, Spanish, French, even Portuguese, if you know another language unlike me, who's just ignorant and only knows English. So again, the first thousand people to click the link in the description below, you must go quickly, will get a free trial of Skillshare. And who knows, this might be the beginning of your life changing for the better. I'm in the middle of my character animation course. I'm gonna get right back into it now. And I really do hope that you see my animations improve. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week for a new science video. I said peace.